know that in the circles, if you are having any circle, okay, so the first property of that, whenever we are going to have equal chords, okay, they are the two equal chords. Equal chords substance equal angle at the center, okay. So for example, if this is a chord, if I'm saying that this is AB and this is CD, they both are equal chords. If it is given to you that AB is equals to CD, the first property, so they are, if this is a center, then they both are going to substand equal angle at the center. Okay. They both are going to substand equal angle at the center. So whatever the value of this one is, that suppose this is X degree. So this will be also X degree. If it is 50 degrees, then this will be also 50 degrees. Got it? They both are going to substand equal angle at the center. You understood? This is the first property. Second property, equal chord substand equal angle at the center and the vice versa is also true. If the, they are the two chords and they are substanding equal angle at the center, then the chord will also be equal. Okay. Are you getting this one? Tell me fast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. So if we will say that the, these two angles will be will also be equal. Next one is if I'm saying, let's suppose uh, if they are the two chords. Okay. Let's suppose uh, then the perpendicular drawn, the perpendicular drawn Okay, the perpendicular drawn on equal chords, on equal chords, or we can say that uh, they are equal at the equal distance. Let's suppose if I'm saying that if AB is an equal uh, CD, if it is given that AB is equals to CD, then O and that is E and this is F. So if AB is equal to CD and we are saying that these are the two perpendiculars, then in short, we will say that, in short, we will say that uh, that O E will also be equals to O F. Okay. This is the second property. This is the second property. Draw this one. Okay. The third property is that one that if they are the two chords. Okay. Okay. Uh, let this is a chord and uh, this is a chord. The vice versa is also true. That if the two chords are at equal distance, if the two chords are at equal distance, the or we can say that as a perpendicular drawn from the uh, on the two chords are equal, are equal. Let's suppose this is a two chord. Let I'm having this is a center here. This is, it is a center and it is a perpendicular here, and this is another perpendicular here. The both perpendicular are equal. If it is given that it is O E and this is F and this is A, this is B and this is C, this is D, and if if it is instead of this one, if it is given now this time that OE is equals to OF, then AB will be equals to automatically become equal to CD. Means if the perpendicular drawn from this uh, center, then it is simply, you need to note it down that perpendicular drawn. Okay, you got this one? You understood this one? Tell me fast. Okay, next one is if I talk about the next one, stump it. So the next property of this one, the next property of this one is that suppose if I'm having another chord, okay, like this is AB and this is CD, okay, uh, let not AB and CD, let I'm saying that perpendicular drawn on a chord, perpendicular drawn on a chord bisect the chords, okay, if I'm saying that OB or if it's AB, Sorry, it is A, this is B and this is C. If I'm saying that OC is perpendicular, is perpendicular to AB, is perpendicular to AB, then definitely if it is given that OC is perpendicular, OC is perpendicular to AB, then definitely we'll say that AC will be equals to BC. 
okay, AC will be equals to BC. Means the perpendicular bisect the chords. So if if OC is perpendicular to AB, then AC means it will bisect the chord. That I am just writing in short. Okay, got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next, next is that if we have a cyclic correlator like this, this. Okay. So the opposite angle sum of cyclic quadrators are equal. If it is x and this is y. So opposite as the sum of opposite angles, this is A and this is B. So if I'm saying that this is P, Q, R, S. So if P, Q, R, S is a cyclic quadrilateral, cyclic quadrilateral, quad, quadrilateral, okay. Then we will say that x plus y will be equals to 180 degree, the sum of opposite angles. And here A plus B will also be 180 degree. Okay, in pilogram, opposite angles are equal, but here the opposite angles are, tell me fast, here the opposite angles are, are having sum oh, as 180 degree. Okay, got it? So have you noted this one? Note it fast, please. Then we shall be moving towards the question. Excuse me, my letter, okay. Done, sir. Okay, so we are having this question. Please uh, do this question. Uh, two circles of radii. This is the very simple question that we are going to have. Two circles of radii, five and three centimeter, intersect at point at two points. The distance between and the distance between their center is four. Find the length of the common chord. Okay, so do this question. Try to solve this question, please. Are you doing this one? Yes, sir. And you, yes, Rima? Yes, sir. There are the two, there are the two chords, two circles of radii. Five and three, they intersect at a point. That this is the five and this is the three. Okay. And the length of their common chord is four. This is a common chord which is going to have four centimeter. That this is A, this is B, this is C. Okay. So, no, not the common chord. Common chord is this one. Common chord is just making it with different color. Okay. So, this is the common chord. Okay. This is the common chord. And you need to find out the value of this one. Okay. 
and this is being given this is 5 because this is the radius of the bigger circle this is the radius of another circle so this is 4 cm sorry 3 cm and the distance between their centers is is 4 so we just write here this is 4 so we are having a triangle like this okay like this we are having this triangle this is uh, this is 5 this is 3 and this is 4 Okay, just find out the height of this one. First, this is A, this is B, this is C. Let they are intersecting at point here, that is D. So find out the value of AD first. Try to do it. So is it six centimeters? Okay, let's check Rima that what is the answer. Let okay, let's check that what's the answer. That you see here that this is actually this is actually five, this is three, and this is four. Okay. Now uh, we have A, B and we have A, C and B, C. Okay. We have the simple formula that we can calculate the area of this triangle A, B, C by using Heron's formula. Okay. By Heron's formula, we can easily calculate this one. Okay. So now area of triangle A, B, C, A, B, C, triangle A, B, C will be equals to S, S minus A. Will be equals to we can use it uh, Heron's formula here okay and we can simply do s s minus a s minus b s minus c okay what is the value of s here s is the sum semi perimeter so this will be 5 plus 4 plus 3 divided by 2 sum of all sides okay got it so when you add this one you will get 9 plus 3 you will get 12 12 divided by 2 you will get 6 okay when 12 divided by 2 you will get 6 so s is 6 so right here 6 6 minus 5, 6 minus 4, and 6 minus 3. So you will get under root of 6 into, this you will get 1, this you will get 2, this you will get 3. So 2 into 3 is 6, and 6 into 6 is also 6. So you will get 36 as a root, and you will get th root 36 is equals to 6 centimeter square. So the area of this triangle is 6 centimeter square. Okay, got it? Alvina, you got it? Yes, sir. Now, you need to find out the height if now let me tell you that the chord the perpendicular drawn on the common chord bisect the chord so if we are this is a perpendicular here just just let, let me make this triangle uh, this one this diagram in a bigger if with a bigger image okay so let this is the first circle and this is a second circle okay and it is going to have five as a radius five as a radius mm -hmm. And this is going to have 3 as a radius. And the distance between their center is 4. 
So uh, we can calculate this height right now. And whatever the height of this one, we need to find out the common chord, length of common chord. So this is a perpendicular and this is a chord. This is a chord. Okay, so if I talk about this common chord, okay, let I'm take it with different color. So this is the common chord. Okay, and you know the perpendicular drawn on a common on a chord, dissect the chord. So whatever the value of this, this height we are getting, if in order to find out the length of this common chord, we just double it. We just double it. For example, if I got this value 3, then it will be 3 plus 3, 6. This will be also 3. This value will be also 3. So the length of the common chord will be double of this. So now you know that you have calculated the area of this triangle, which is having 5, 3, and 4, 4 as the dimensions. It is given to you in the uh, question. Now the uh, now you know that area of this area of this triangle ABC will also be equals to half into base into height. So area of triangle ABC will also be equals to half into base into height. Okay, so you can write it half. And what is base? Base this time will be BC. BC is the base that is four, and height you need to calculate. Height height is actually uh, a D A D A D is the height. So we'll write A D and we have calculated the area of this triangle uh, by Hiron's formula also. So we, we, we got six. So we write here six. We just cut it by two and this two will comes down. You will get A D as three. We'll get A D. This two will comes down or you can cut it like this way. So we'll get A D as three centimeter. A D is three centimeter. Now you know that we need to find out the length of the common chord. So uh, we say the length of the common chord will be twice of AD. So we can write it length of common chord. Length of common chord. Chord. Will be. Twice of AD. Twice of. AD. That will be equals to. Three. Into. Uh, sorry. Twice of AD. That will be three into two. That will be. Will be twice of 80, that will be equals to 6 centimeter. Okay, got it? Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so, note it down, please. Note it down and do the solution. If anybody uh, is having any doubt, then let me know. Okay. Prima, you done this one, you understood? Yes, Surely. Sir. So, do you want the yes, copy sir. the next slide? This one? Yeah. Do this one first. Mm -hmm. Done, Rima. This one copied. Yes, sir. Just a minute. So let's you do this. This question that we are having on your screen right now. Okay. So do this question, please. Reem, uh, Reshma, Salma, and Mandeep are playing a game. On a circle with radius 5 cm drawn in the park, Reshma threw a ball to Salma and Salma to Mandeep and Mandeep to Reshma. Okay. If the distance between Reshma and Salma and Salma and Mandeep is 6, what is the distance between Reshma and Mandeep? So here, we are having a circle. Let me explain you this question. Okay. Reshma, Salma and Mandeep. So this is Reshma. Here is Reshma, this is Salma, and this is Mandi. Okay, they are sitting at a distance of uh, six centimeter. Okay, circle of radius five. Radius is five. Okay, so this is center. 
that if I'm having it. And Reshma and Salma distance is six centimeter, and this one is also six centimeter. This one is also six uh, six meters, sorry, not centimeter. Okay, and radius is five. Then you need to tell me the distance of Reshma between the Reshma and Mandi. So what is the distance between Reshma and Mandi? You need to tell me the dis this distance. That what is the distance between Reshma and Mandi? Okay. So this is five. Let me help you that this is five. This is five meter. Five meter radius. Okay. If I make a uh, diagram of this one, then this is also five meter. So try to solve this question. Okay. This is the center O. So how will you be able to solve this one? Tell me. Hiron's formula. Yes, you will use Hiron's formula to solve this one. Which triangle you are going to take me? First tell me. R O S. Yes, take this triangle R O S and find out this area. Area of this triangle R O S. Find out the area of this triangle R O S first. Area of triangle R O S. Find out the area of this triangle. Is it 50? Done. So is it fifty? Sixteen. You are saying sixteen, Rima. And you, Alvina, what's your answer? Fifty five zero. Why? You take this one that S. What is the value of S here? Reshma, Salma, and Mandi are sitting on a circular park. Okay. And uh, they are having uh, standing by a radius five drawn in a bar. throw the ball to Sanma Sanatma So you know that this is five, this is five, and this is six. So this will be sixteen. S will be six. Uh, S will be perimeter is sixteen. So S will be eight. We'll get area of triangle ROS will be S bracket S minus A S minus B S minus C. So what you are going to get here is you will get. S, S is equals to uh, 5 plus 5 plus 6. 5 for this one, radius. This is also radius. And this is 6. The distance between them, so you will get upon 2. So you will get 16 upon 2. You get how much? You get 8, okay? So this is 8 bracket, 8 minus 5. Then again, 8 minus 5. Then again, 8 minus 6. So you will get here 
eight. You will get three. You will get three. You will get two. Okay, eight. You can write it like this way. Eight. You can write two into two into two into three into three into two. So one pair of two will comes out. Another pair of two will also comes out. And one pair of three will also comes out. So area will be equals to area of triangle ROS will be equals to tell me. Tell me first. Two to the four, four three to the twelve, twelve uh, meter square. Understood? Rima and Alvina, you understood this one? Yes, yes, sir. Now what is going here is that that this one is this this one. Okay. You see that uh, this is R. Now you need to find out the distance between them. So you need to find out this value. Okay. So again, you can find out the height of this one. This you consider you can consider this one as a base because this is perpendicular. Okay, this is perpendicular, and this is a base. So area of triangle, area of triangle ROS will be also equals to half into base into height. So that will be equals to that would be equals to, tell me, half into base. Base, consider this one. This one, consider. Now, do you take this triangle like this way. Okay, and this is the height. Okay, you can consider this one. So, this is, OS is the base, which is 5. Okay, and height is, uh, let, let I'm writing here, uh, RP. Okay, so RP, P is the height. Okay, we are having triangle like this. You understood? Are you getting this one, Alvina? Yes, sir. yes, sir. So this will be the height. So right here, height is, you need to calculate. RP, you need to calculate, okay, value of RP. And now you have calculated this value that this area of ROS, you have calculated 12. So 12 is equals to, uh, 12, 12 is equals to half into 5 into RP. So this 12 will goes to that side and you will get, uh, uh, 24. Okay. So 24 divided by 5 is equals to RP. This 5 will comes down. This 2 will goes there. So you cut it. You will get 4.8. Now you know that RP is the half. Because this is this is the perpendicular. This is the radius. And radius bisect the chord. I have told you that OS is the radius. So if I am having this chord. Any chord like this. And if it is passing through the radius. Okay. And then this bisect the chord. Radius is going to, uh, means it is perpendicular here. So whatever the value of this RP is, okay, this will be this equal to the value of PM. So we can say that RM will be equals to twice of RP. So that will be equals to 2 into 4.8. That will be equals to 9.6 meter. But the distance between Deshma and Mandeep is 9.6 meter. Okay. Note it down, Done? This is 9.6 meter. Do it fast, then we shall be moving towards the next question. Okay, just a minute. Done, sir. Okay, 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 just a minute. Next question on your screen is going to be. Yeah. 
we are just having this figure also. Okay, this is the question on your screen and uh, please try to solve this question. Try to solve this question. Okay, this is the question on your screen. In figure 19.9, .9, AB is the diameter of the circle, okay, and CD is the chord. AB is the diameter and CD is the chord. Uh, CD is, is a chord equal to the radius of the circle. It is equal to the radius. Okay, AC and BD when X state intersect at point E, prove that AEB is 60 degree. You need to prove that this angle is 60 degree. You need to prove that this angle is 60 degree. Let me, before solving this one, let me remind you that whatever the angle that is formed by a chord, let me explain you that if there is a chord, like this is a chord, okay? And whatever the angle this chord is forming at the center, then the same chord will form half angle at the circumference, okay? Let for example, if it is, if it is 100 degree, then this will be 50 degrees, it will be forming here. And this, this is the first property. And the second property is that uh, that diameter, diameter always form 90 degree at the circumference. For example, this is diameter. So this, if it is making any angle at the circumference, then this will be always 90 degree. Diameter always form 90 degree at the circumference. Second property. Third property is that whenever there is a chord, okay, so it always form equal angle uh, on the circumference. For example, this is forming any angle here. So these all angle will be equal. This angle, this angle, this angle. If I'm making any angle, number of angles, they both, they, they all will be equal. Got it? Got it? So if it is yes, X, yes. so this will be also X. This will be also X. Note it down, please. And uh, this will help you. So try to solve this one. Uh, Alvina and Rima, can you tell me that what would be the value of angle COD? Angle COD. Try to find out the value of angle COD. This COD angle, try to find out this value. 
and uh, tell me the value of this angle this angle c b d what would be the value of angle c b d okay try to find out the value of this c b d and this uh, this angle uh, c o d okay so try to find out can you tell me COD will be 60. Yes, you are right. It will be 60 degree. And how, how do you know this one? Uh, because uh, uh, you said uh, like the upper part will be 90. Why it will be 60 degrees? Just kissed. Alvina, can you tell me why COD is, it is 60 degree? Can you tell me that why it is 60 degree? Because all angles of equal at a triangle is 60 degrees. Why are you not telling? Why are you giving yourself white? Yes, it is correct. So we can consider this one. Okay. Let we are having this image. I'm just making a bigger version of this one. Okay, just a minute. Okay, look at this. Uh, here it is said in the question that this CD chord is equal to the radius. So this is radius. It is CD chord. It is given that it is equal to the radius. And this is also radius. And this is also radius. So these all are equal. So you know that whenever there is an equilateral triangle, the all the angles are equal of equilateral triangle. And equilateral triangle is going to have each and every angle of 60 degrees. So since CD, CD is equals to OD is equals to OC is equals to radius. We'll write CD is equals to uh, OD is equals to OC. OD is equals to OC is equals to radius. So we can say that triangle, triangle COD, triangle COD is and equilateral triangle, okay? Equilateral triangle. Got it? Now, moving through this one, this, this, if this is 60 degrees, okay? This is 60 degrees. This will be also 60 degrees. This will be also 60 degrees. This one, not this one, this one as a whole. Okay, are you getting? This will be also 60 degrees. Now, I have told you in the uh, in the previous uh, like when I, we were just studying previously, okay, that whatever the angle subtended by a chord at the center, if, if we are just taking any chord, okay, this chord. So whatever this chord is making an angle at the center, the half it will be going to make at the circumference. So if this is 60 degrees. Okay, so this CD chord is making this 60 degrees at the circumference. So the same chord will make half of the angle at this circumference. Okay, so this will be 30 degrees. Got it? This chord, CD chord will make 30 degrees at the circumference. You understood now? Yes, sir. Okay, now this is 30 degrees. This is 30 degrees. Okay. And similarly, if this is a chord, this is a chord, okay? 
and uh, if you take this one that this is cd is a chord and this is making some angle at this one and this is making this one so you know that if this is 60 degrees okay and uh, this one what what will be the value of this angle what will be the value of this one 30 degrees okay this will be perpendicular so this will be 30 degrees so or we can sim simply say that not 30 degree if you take it like this way just just a minute okay if this is 60 degrees this will be also this as a whole it will be 60 degrees okay this will be as a whole it will be 60 degrees so we need to find out the value of this one what should be the value of this one because we know that uh, this will be 60 degrees because we know that this as a whole we need to find out okay now you know that you know dear students just keep in mind here that this is a diameter and this diameter is going to have 90 degrees at this one okay so this is this is 90 degree means this as a whole this angle is 90 degree this as a whole this angle is 90 degrees got it this angle is 90 degree why because a chord, a diameter may make 90 degree angle with the circumference. So this is, this will make 90 degrees with the circumference. Here, it any angle if it is making here at the circumference, if it is diameter, so it will be going to make 90 degrees. Okay. So since it is a diameter, A, A, O, B, A, B is the diameter. So this will be 90 degrees. Okay. If this is 90 degrees and we need to find out the value of this. Uh, one. Okay. Now, now take this, take this triangle. You know that, you know that this, this will be also 90 degree. In this triangle, this will be also 90 degree because this is a straight line and uh, we are having this. So if this is, this is 90 degree, so this will be also 90 degree. So this C, E, C, B is 90 degree. Okay. E, C, B. Now this is 90. Okay. And the same chord, this is making 30 degree here. This is making 30 degree here. Okay. Why? Because this is a CD chord. This is a CD chord. Let me explain you one more time. I will make, I will explain you with different colors. This is a CD chord. This is making 60 degree at the center. The same CD chord will make 30 degree at the circumference because this is a rule. If a chord makes angle at the center, whatever angle it is making at the center, then half of that angle will, it, it will make at the circumference. Okay. So if this is in triangle ECB, this is 30 degrees, this is 90. So 90 plus 30 is 120. So remaining it will be 60 degrees. Remaining it will be 60 degrees. So let me explain you one more time with different colors so that you can understand it more betterly. Okay. Let me explain you one more time. Look at this. You know that this angle is 90 degree. This angle is 90 degree this dotted line only the dotted one this one here up to here if i talk about this one okay this one will be 90 degrees why why because this is a triangle and this is a diameter and diameter always make 90 degrees at the circumference why because it is making uh, 180 degree at the center this diameter is also called so it is making 180 degrees at the center. So half of it, it will make at the circumference. This is the simple rule. Okay. Now, now you know that if I took this different color, now this is a CD chord. Now you know that this will be, this angle will be equal, uh, 60 degrees. Why 60 degrees? Because this is an equilateral triangle. In a equilateral triangle, all angles are of 60 degree because CD is equals to radius. And this is also radius. This is also radius. So this will be 60 degrees. Now, now you know that if this, again, the violet one, I'm just taking the different color green, let take green color. Okay, now take this, take this triangle, take this CD chord, okay, CD chord. This CD chord is making 60 degrees at a circumference, uh, sorry, at the center, 60 degrees here. The same chord, it's the, the same CD chord will make how much angle at the circumference? 30 degrees. So this chord will make 30 degrees here. The same chord CD, if I make it like this way, if it is making 
60 degree. So this is CD is in this triangle CDO and this interest triangle CDB. This will be 30 degrees. Okay. This will be 30 degrees. Now coming to the next point. If I took uh, this, uh, that if I took this color, okay. Now you take this one, this one in this triangle. Take this triangle and this triangle. In this triangle, you notice that this is up to here, it is 90 and this one is also 90. This one is 30. This one is 30. So this will remaining 90 plus 30 plus X will give you 60 degrees. Okay, got it. Now you understood or uh, having some doubt right now. Tell me fast. No, sir. Rima, you understood? Rima, you understood? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So the solution of this one is, is, is given in the textbook. Let me note it down here, okay, for you. And this is, a, since this is an example, so I'm just making this one for you, okay? So this is your homework. I will send this one that you need to do this one in the homework so that you can do this one. Okay. Moving to the next question, just a minute. Wala question do this one okay do this one this is very simple it is being asked that this is 100 okay and find angle uh this this angle you need to find out that what is the angle find angle p o p r o p r okay so how will you be able to find out the angle o p r We can find out that like 150. Rima, your voice is very slow. Why are you speaking uh, so slowly? Your mic is, is it something uh, over the mic? No, sir, because I'm having a knee pain. That's why uh, I'm talking slow. I'm just saying that uh, it will be 150 degree. Only this one, only P1. No, it will not be 50. You can, can you see this? No. Just you need to uh, concentrate here that uh, Alvina, can you tell me that what, what will the value of this angle POR? OPR? Uh, sir, it can you tell me? Sir, I didn't understand. Okay. So this is 100. Okay. Whenever we are having, I'm just talking about if a chord is making some angle at the center. Okay. If chord is making some angle at the at the center, the same chord will make half angle at the circumference. But this is true when when we are having a chord like this and our angles are one inside the another. Okay, like this pattern should be there. Like if we are having like this, if this is, there is a chord, so the center should be like this. So this and this relation will be there. If the angle is like this and this, they don't have the relation. The angle should be like this, one on one inside the another. Okay, got it. But here you see that if you see that this is 100, so you, this is a chord. So you can't say that this will be 50 degree. You can't see this one. Say this one. Why? Because 
if you see, say like this, this is not this is not 50 degrees. Okay, and moreover, this chord, uh, PR chord, okay, this the, the angle is like this and this. This pattern should not be there. Okay. So what we are going to do here is that if this is 100 degrees, so we'll make it once uh, we will do a construction here and we will make it a cyclic coordinator. P S P Q R S. Okay. If this is this is 100, okay. So this will be 80 degrees. Why 80 degrees? Because now P Q R S is a P Q R S is a cyclic quarter. Cyclic quad. And cyclic quarters opposite angles are going to have some 180 degrees. So if it is 100, so this angle should be 80 degrees so that the sum of these two opposite angles should be 180 degrees. Got it? Dima, you understood now? Tell me. Okay. Now this pattern, now you see that this is a PR chord. Now this is an angle. Okay. And this is another angle. So they are now satisfying the relation. That this is a chord, there is one angle here and another angle here at the center. Now, if this is 80 degrees, so this PR chord will make double of this angle. So this will be 160 degrees. So this will be 160 degrees. Got it? 80 is double at the center. This PR chord is making, if, if this PR chord is making uh, 80 degrees at the circumference, then the double of this one, it will make the, at the center. Okay, got it? Now, you know that this is radius, this is radius. So this triangle is OPR, OPR, triangle, in triangle, in triangle OPR, okay. OP is equals to OR, OP is equals to OR. And since OP is equals to OR, so this is an isolated triangle. So this angle and this angle will be equal. Got it? Got it? So if... This is x, so this will be also x. Now you know that x plus x plus 160 degrees is equal to inter angle OPR. So this will give you 180 degrees. So this will go to that side. We'll get 160 divided by uh, 160 minus uh, 180. Okay. Uh, you will get 20. 20 is equal to 2x and x is equal to 10. Got it? So triangle, uh, sorry, angle OPR will be 10 degrees. Got it? Yes, sir. But sir, I didn't understand one thing. What? How did you get 80 degrees? Uh, because this is a cyclic quadrator, now. We just construct it. Cyclic quadrator means who's a quadrator which whose angles, all angles are on the, on the circle. Okay. So they are lying all angles on the circumference. So it is given that this is 100 and the opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral should have some 180. So what should be added to this? That like this is angle Y. So X plus Y, X plus Y should be equals to 180 degrees because it, it is the sum property that cyclic quadrilaterals has sum as 180 degrees. Got it? Yes, sir. Opposite angle sums is 180 degrees. So this Y will be equals to 100 minus 180. 